Gemini. Hey, 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 Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Gemini placement. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for every single Gemini out there. The first message that we have is, what did you do to me? <laughs> okay, so there's a very sarcastic kind of energy that's coming through with this card here. But I get that there's a lot that's happening behind the scenes. A lot of things that you may not be privy to, Divine Feminine, that this masculine is going through, okay? I'm getting that there's a great deal of things that are moving and shifting in their immediate environment. And some of these things I'm getting, they may be struggling a little bit with these changes here, but it's, it's like they're keeping their energies high at this time. But what's interesting here is that they have this feeling deep down that this has something to do with you. It has something to do with this connection that you have here. They feel like you are responsible for this change in some kind of way. But there's a very lighthearted kind of energy about this here. So Divine Feminine, you could very well, depending on how energetically bonded you are to your masculine you could very well be doing some type of energy work some high vibrational energy work where you could be you know meditating maybe you are manifesting um maybe you're doing visualization something here that's kind of transmuting and raising the energy and the connection here especially if you are um you know really energetically bonded to your person you share a chakra system so whatever changes that you are making, it's kind of being transferred to this masculine by default. But it's like they're sitting back smirking, like, what is this divine feminine doing, okay? Things are moving, things are shifting. I'm getting some things are being taken away, some things are being added. But the funny thing is they are attributing these changes to you in some kind of way here. So I don't know if this is something that you're doing intentionally. Maybe you are just, you know, cleansing and clearing your energy. I feel like for a lot of Divine Feminines, this has literally been your theme for this year. Just really being very intentional about how you show up in life and love. And just for yourself, there's a lot of self-love energy that I feel here. And so naturally, when you assume this position, this really helps you to cleanse and clear the energy from your connection on a consistent basis. So things are definitely happening behind the scenes and your person is definitely picking up and feeling this energy. So much so that they're sitting back and you know they're asking themselves, what is this divine feminine doing, okay? Um, because they feel directly affected by whatever this is and they are attributing this to you in some kind of way here. But I'm getting that whatever this is that you're doing spiritually, okay? is definitely manifesting in their physical reality in their immediate environment okay let's get the next message here wow we have eye contact hmm wow okay so this is this may be very very specific because I feel like this message is getting very spiritual but it's taking me back to this first part here what did you do to me um it's taking me it's, it's making me understand that this masculine is, is assuming this position of kind of being in this this very um kind of happy kind of you know comical kind of energy here because they knew that this moment was going to happen is what i'm getting here so something that they saw in the very very beginning or somewhere along the beginning of your journey is happening now and that's why they're in this energy of like smirking laughing like okay um, I kind of see how everything is coming together here, okay? So that that needed to be pointed out. But what I'm getting right here with this eye contact here is that there was some type of exchange of information. I'm getting very, very early on within this connection here. 
Your person looked into your eyes and not only did your eyes tell them everything that they needed to know, but they also felt as if you had information about them that they did not know, Divine Feminine. And this right here is what really kind of confused your person. This may have actually scared your person. This may have made them push back a little bit. I'm getting that maybe they ran, they, you know, were very intense energy where they could have ran right into you in the beginning and then maybe pull back a little bit. Very intense, very powerful, very spiritual. I'm also getting that they know that you felt this too, but neither one of you said anything. And you didn't say anything, not because you didn't feel that the other person felt this as well, but you didn't say anything because there were literally no words to describe what it was that you were feeling. It's almost as if something within the eye contact confirmed a lot for you and your person. And where they stand right now, this is kind of being highlighted because there was some type of information okay they, this unlocked something very powerful within the both of you here but what's sticking out to your person is that it's taken them back to this moment where they looked into your eyes and they felt like not only did they you can you confirm something for them on a soul level but it's almost as if you had this piece of information that they didn't have about themselves and this has kind of remained a mystery to them for your entire connection, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow, okay, this is resonating with you so far. There's something very, very like spiritual happening. I feel like divine feminine, this could be you, this could be your masculine energy, your masculine could be at this place where they have awakened, okay? As we know, the awakening process continues, it's very cyclic. They could be unlocking another level here. There's something powerful definitely happening behind the scenes here. You both could actually be working together because I keep getting merged, okay? You could actually be working together as well. Um, yeah, but there's, there's something very interesting happening here. Let's get the next message. So the next message we have is you have a decision to make. Hmm. Okay. Now everything is, is beginning to make sense. Okay. This masculine is right now at the stage of your journey thinking back to a moment, sitting back and laughing, okay, <laughs> as things in their lives are taking place. And some of these changes, okay, are not positive changes. Maybe things are being taken away from them, but it's almost as if they're, they're losing something and they're gaining something. And instead of them having this energy of feeling without, you know, feeling like they're losing something, feeling like they are without something or they're depleted, they're sitting back smirking. Okay, because they feel as if you, something happened in the beginning of your journey where they looked into your eyes and they knew that this moment was going to come. But with this, you have a decision to make card here. They decided in the very, very beginning that they were going to do this, not really knowing what the challenges would be. Maybe they did know what the challenges were going to be but maybe the challenges were far out. Maybe they weren't even thinking about this at that moment here. Maybe you weren't thinking about this divine feminine because I'm getting a very kind of premature energy here. This was very, very early on. So I'm getting, it's something about your timeline as well as it pertains to your person feels as if they agreed to something, like they chose you, they made that decision very, very early on without even knowing what was going to come. But there was something in your energy. There was something about your energy. There was something about that merging, something about that eye contact that kind of confirmed something for them here and begin to take them on this journey with you. So yeah, they want you to know that if you are confused about either where you are in your connection right now, how your person is feeling about you right now, if they knew from the very, very beginning, okay, I'm getting, they decided 
way before they had all the information that there was something about you or the energy exchange that you that you have with this masculine that confirms something deep within them on a soul level okay but yeah they chose this they're they're letting you know that and i'm also getting that there's something about the timeline of your connection that feels very weird to them you could feel this as well, Divine Feminine. It's almost as if you both feel like this kind of happened backwards. It's like you meet this person. Um, you have this out-of-body kind of experience. You feel as if they're going to be important to you on some kind of level. Because this is how your masculine is feeling at this time. They feel as if they already knew how how this how this was going to go before they even had all the information before they even knew all they needed to know about you here and that doesn't make sense this could also be where a lot of the tension in your connection comes from from them trying to actually make sense of this or trying to figure out how to navigate this connection because it feels like your love story kind of existed on a whole nother timeline. And it was like you agreed to this before getting there. This is a very kind of spiritual energy that, that I'm getting here. So I hope this is coming through and making sense. But this could definitely, this could definitely attribute to your person kind of showing up a little bit hot and cold. Um, them kind of rushing into you, being so, you know, intensely passionate, and then kind of pulling back. It's like, it makes all the sense in the world, but at the same time, it, it doesn't make logical sense to them. But they're coming through and letting you know that they made a decision. From that moment that they looked into your eyes, they chose you. And they want you to know that. This is being pointed out in this reading, okay? And so whatever is happening in their lives right now, it's reminding them of the moment of the kind of the agreement that they made that moment that they locked eyes with you. Wow. Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is, you stood out from everyone else. Wow, powerful energy, powerful energy. Yeah, I'm getting divine feminine. You are the exception, okay? I'm getting that this masculine that, <laughs> that you know, this reading is, is picking up energy from. This is someone who has, they play by a set of rules, okay? And you broke every single rule that they may have unconsciously set or placed for themselves, for you, or for this connection. And this is really tied, this is picking up on the emotional process. It's like you make them feel every emotion, even emotions that they can't even name. But there's even deeper, there's a feeling that this masculine associates with you. And it's so unmatched that it makes them, it makes you stand out in their mind. There's like a, a level of magnetism that you have. It's your ability to draw this masculine close to you without you even trying. But I'm getting, it's, it's something, it's like your person, I'm getting laser focused. So it's either your person is laser focused on you right now, or they want this to be focused on right now. It's like, it's very important for you to know how they view you. I'm also getting something about the eye, it's keep, it keeps going back to the eye contact, okay? <laughs> There's something very mesmerizing about your gaze. But I'm getting specifically that you stood out from everyone else mainly because this masculine feels as if you have some type of information, your soul, this is very spiritual energy, okay? I was not anticipating a reading to go this way, 
but this is very powerful. This is a very powerful spiritual connection and you will know if this is your connection, okay? Your soul, when you cross paths with your person, when you look into your eyes, they feel as if your soul has a piece of information about them, okay? That is what keeps your person laser focused on you. That is the element, the underlying element to your magnetism because this person may come in contact with many different feminine energies, but these feminine energies don't have that level of access to them. So imagine crossing paths with a person and you feeling like you come in contact with them, you look in their eyes and you're like, this person knows me, you know? This person knows me. I'm also picking up on a divine feminine. You are very gifted spiritually. Now, I don't know if this is something that you're tapped into. Um, maybe you're coming into this. Maybe you're sharpening, you know, your skills spiritually here. But you may very well be someone who's able to look directly into people. Okay, but there's something about your eyes. You're able to see the innermost parts of people, the things that they don't openly express. And this is what draws that masculine to you, but this is also what pulls them away from you as well because they cannot hide from you. They can't lie to you. They can't look you in your face and tell you something that's not the truth because you will know it and they know that you will know it. And this right here is, is what makes you stand out. So I'm getting specifically okay that yeah this is a very powerful powerful energy here and divine feminine you know this it's like this masculine kind of wants to reaffirm you it's like laser focus on this like make sure this divine feminine knows you know why it is that that you are standing out here but yeah it's like they feel like this is not the end. It's like no matter what you go through in your connection, no matter if you're not speaking, if there's a little distance, they always feel like, they're, like there's more to unpack. So even if they come contact you and maybe you speak to them, maybe they have access to you visually here, there's a lot of communication that happens through your eyes alone, okay? Like I keep getting um, like there are no words. This is very well how you may describe your, your connection with your person because it's like when I go to try to put it into words, it's like there are no words. It's just an energy, a very, very powerful, powerful, sacred kind of energy here. Um, so you'll definitely know if, if, if this is resonating with you. But um, it's almost as if your person knows it's like where they stand right now, they knew that this day would come. They knew that things would begin to shift. They knew that they, they knew that when they made the decision to choose this connection, to choose you, they knew that things would shift. They knew that their world would be turned upside down. And this is happening right now in the physical, okay? This is physically happening at this time. So you may be picking up on this on this as well, Divine Feminine, but it's like this masculine really, really wants you to know <laughs> that this connection is it's, it's real, you know? When a connection is real, you know, it never ends. They can't stop loving you. They can't stop wanting you, okay? They've tried, you've tried, and maybe it's not meant for, for you to stop. Maybe it's not meant for you to be over. I think that's something um, that the both of you may feel at this time. But this is definitely the energy that this masculine associates with you. It's like you stood out to them from day one. You still stand out to them and you always will. And they want you to know that that's very important, okay? Yeah, this, this is powerful. This is like... <laughs> This is a love, a love story that's literally like on a higher timeline. 
and and this is like really happening in in the 3d this is manifesting things are shifting things are happening this is beautiful and this masculine is sitting back like i knew this was going to happen like i knew this day would come wow <laughs> so for some of you feminines that just may be confirmation there i'm also getting i just keep getting preparation for some of you, you definitely maybe feel like you're getting prepped for something, like something is coming. You could feel this energy of anticipation. This is why. This is why. And I always say things have to manifest in the spiritual realm before they come into the physical realm. So a lot of that energy clearing, a lot of this, you know, raising your vibration and getting ready. Oh, things are happening and it's coming in in a massive, massive way, okay? This is beautiful energy, beautiful energy. And um, what's, what's also being pointed out here is like, it's how everything is coming together for this masculine. It's like they're, they're sitting back shaking their heads like, I knew it, I, I knew this was gonna happen. And they're thinking about you. Everything that's happening in their immediate environment they're thinking directly about you, divide them in. Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is divine timing. Wow. Wow. So that's more confirmation there. Okay. This may be very specific, but you may be seeing 222 two, two a lot. Okay. That's a sign of confirmation also divine alignment and physical union okay this is also the year 2022 which is overall a year surrounding love surrounding relationships here so this may be a major sign for you this may be a major sink as it relates to your connection here but yeah divine timing your person feels like at this very moment and that's why they have this very like i just keep getting like this smirk kind of energy where they feel like the universe is literally manipulating everything to be in favor of this connection with you and honestly this is amazing but they literally feel sometimes they may get a little frustrated because they live they, because they feel totally powerless to this like they can't stop what's happening at this time it's already been put in motion it's already happened in the spiritual realm and now it's manifesting here in the physical realm here but they're thinking back and it's like you both knew at the beginning that this was going to happen it's like you both made a decision you both made a choice you both agreed to something energetically your souls did okay upon coming in contact with each other or at the very beginning of your journey and this is beginning to manifest but with the divine timing there's there's something very very auspicious about your connection about the timing i was getting that earlier and now it's, it's coming back to me here i keep getting like backwards it's like you came into this connection already knowing how it would end maybe that's what your person saw in your eyes here maybe this is what makes you stand out divine feminine i'm also picking up on a divine feminine that has like this really regal kind of quiet confidence about you where you don't really have to say much but this masculine feels like you know maybe you know more than they know maybe you're more spiritually inclined than them but you stand out because it's like you already knew how this was going to end. They knew that you kind of held a piece of, of their future within your soul, okay? Within your being. Wow, this is very spiritual. This is very deep, okay? So I don't know. I hope this is coming across clear. I hope this is making sense because this is very, very powerful energy that I'm tapping into. But things are definitely happening, okay, on a very, very powerful scale. And I feel like you both feel this, okay? Um, I think that there's this energy in your connection where you both may not 
know, you know, what's happening as it pertains to the divine timing. Or you both may feel like the other knows a little bit more about what's going to happen next or, you know, when, when you're going to see your person or when you're going to speak to your or things like that. But it's like, there's a higher power over this. Literally sitting and kind of orchestrating things behind the scenes. And it's kind of like once you made this agreement in the beginning, things have been shifting and things have been moving. Even when you feel like things are not progressing, even when you feel like things are stagnant, that's still a part of the progress. That's still a part of the trajectory of this connection here. This is very powerful energy. Very, very powerful energy. And it's kind of like, there, there was definitely an activation when, when you cross paths. And now it's like, there was an activation and it's like there's the, there was this blank canvas for you to like create your love story, you know, and fill it in with those intense moments, with the intensity, the passion, the activations, the separations, the, you know, all of these things are literally a part of your love story, okay? And this is absolutely beautiful. And your person is looking back and, and just putting all the pieces together and feeling as if you're kind of at like this, this climax point, okay? And I'm getting you maybe feeling this as well, Divine Sister. Yeah. There's definitely things happening and moving in their immediate environment. They feel like it's coming directly from the universe. It's like as soon as it happened, they was they thought of the they thought of you, divine feminine. They knew immediately. It was that clear to them. Okay. They knew that the universe would, would bring you back together if you're at it, you know, you're at a distance or you've been away from them, okay? <laughs> yeah. The signs and things in, in this journey is absolutely unbelievable to the point I just keep getting there are no words to the point where when when you see certain things, you, you think it could only be a higher power that's orchestrating this. There, like there's no other way. There's no there's no other way for this. Okay. Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is we are like magnets. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, I feel like if this message resonated with you, there are some very, very powerful activations that are happening right now. But this is happening right now at this time. Okay, I got this thing 222 that could be relevant to the year 2022. Um, but there's a lot, I feel like you have been up through a lot on your journey with this masculine. And at this time, there are definitely things manifesting and moving in their physical reality that is letting them know that this connection is moving to another timeline, okay? Absolutely moving to another timeline. Divine Feminine, I feel like you are playing a major part in this. I feel like you may be doing a lot of energetic work. And because you're you're focusing your your energy internally, this can actually be physically manifesting in your masculine's reality. But there was some type of activation that happened from the very very beginning, whether you know it or not. Your person chose you. Upon coming in contact with you, upon looking into your eyes, your eyes told them, and you know the eyes are the windows to the soul. Your soul literally merged with this masculine. And your eyes told them everything that they needed to know about you, about this connection, about what was going to happen, and they agreed to it all, okay? You could be feeling like you did too, but this is mainly pointing to their energy. And they want you to know that. They already made the decision. And they made this decision, decision knowing that it would not be easy. Knowing that there would be moments that you would go through, that you would have to grow through here. But they, they were willing to commit to this because you are their person. They feel like you are the missing piece, Divine Feminine. And everything about your connection 
has proven that to them. So where they stand today, there are so many things that are happening in their physical, in their immediate environment that are leading them straight to you. So much so that as soon as these things started happening, you were the first person that they thought of because they felt like you already knew, you had this information, you had this confidence about yourself, about this connection, about their energy, about this soul bond that you have with this masculine where you knew that this moment would, would come and it's here. So this is very, very beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? Um, if you resonated with this message, I wish you the absolute best, okay? Um, this is just beautiful. <laughs> but these are the messages that I have for you all today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.